Hey guys, this is Rusty78609 getting ready to go on another adventure. When? Tomorrow probably or the next day for sure. I'll probably go in the morning. I'm getting, I'm getting all fired up. But anyway, I've got it. See how cleaned out it is? Nothing here, guys. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Got some firewood over there. Five gallon plastic can. But yeah, and of course this thing here, this thing here will just roll up and go back there. I leave that hose here. And then yeah, I've already got the RV obviously turned around. Not that easy, I have to tell you that. And hurry, I gotta hurry up before the air conditioner cuts on because I took the window AC out. But as you notice, nothing here. Oh, nothing there, okay? But yeah, we're good to go, guys. This, this, this little spaceship is fixing to go to West Texas. I got my rocking chair because I'm gonna sit out in a minute and have a beer, beer 30, which is getting very, very close. But yeah, see, we're all, we're all lined up here. I've already got the truck backed up. And I'll show you what's in back of my truck. See, I'm ready to go. If everybody wants to know how you hook up, what you do the night before, you just back up real close like that. And in the morning, all I got to do is just raise this up, back up about four inches, and then let it back down, and we are good to go. Okay. And here we go. This is my junkyard back here, but everything's back here, guys. Every there's the there's the window AC. And I've got my weed eater and stuff, and there's the drain hose for the black and gray water and stuff. And there's some mats there and stuff, and there's my golf club, so I'm not even leaving them. So having said that, guys, we are done. Did. So on the road again in the morning. Uh, what time will I leave? Hmm, I'm hoping to get on the road by 8. I'm not going to get up real early. But if I can get on the road by 8 a.m., then... Uh, that would pretty much make it because I would be at my destination by two or three at the latest and that's going really leisurely. So I just wanted to give you a heads up and say, on the road again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God dang. Oh, I tell you, I'm just glad I feel good enough to do this stuff. But I got to, whenever, the, I'll, I'm going to let this run till that air conditioner, that roof AC cuts on, it, it, it'll drown out everything. There could be a, uh, a freight train coming by out here and you wouldn't hear it when that thing cuts on. Of course, it's under that canopy and that just magnifies it. But I won't be using it much anymore until next spring. And then I'll probably head out to Capitan to my home base there. But yeah, my Ram V6 tows this Casita really well. This is 20, with everything in there, you know, with a little water and stuff, we're looking at about Oh, I'd say 26, 2,700 pounds probably there. And uh, that's not too bad, actually. The truck tows it well. V6, eight-speed transmission. Average about low end, 15 and a half, high end, 17 and a half. So anyway, guys, from uh, Rusty, is 78609. I thought the air conditioner would cut on, but I guess it's not. But having said that, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Isn't, it, isn't this wonderful though? There's no junk around here. You know what I mean? All that old junk I had is gone. I mean, that just makes me feel good all over more than anywhere else. I'm telling you, man, it's just so nice to walk around here and there's nothing. You know what I mean? Everything I own is in my RV or in my truck and that ain't much. And that is just wonderful. And I've got me a lock there. Why do I have it plugged into the 50 amp? Well, that was a, that's a long-term plan if I get an electric car one of these days. Just, you know, I thought I'd go ahead and have them do it. But having said that, again, uh, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, Adios, bye, 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 anything you want, anytime, use the Amazon link if you choose to, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take a deep breath, and all that stuff. Keep your health, guys. It's pretty out here in the country. It's supposed to be, uh, I think it's supposed to be about 60 in the morning, and then tomorrow the high is supposed to be in the 70s here. It'll be the same out where I'm going. And then it'll get down into the upper 40s out in the, in the West Texas area, which is, which is really nice. But isn't that beautiful? It's just nice. Got a nice southerly breeze today. Of course, we've got a cool front coming in later tonight. But having said that, adios amigos. Enjoy your life one day at a time. And we'll, you're going to see, if you like driving videos, you can see a lot of them. I mean, because they're going to be coming out. Oh, also, tomorrow, I mean, I'll do comment call in the morning. But on Monday morning, no, no, in the morning I'll do comment call, but Tuesday, well, I will, it's not comment call. I, I manually go in and, and kind of reply and respond to comments. That's what I'm trying to say. Forget all that other crap. What I'm trying to say is in the afternoons around, oh, one or two o'clock, I go in and read comments and respond to 
uh, all of them manually uh, or typing in replies and stuff. Uh, that probably won't happen tomorrow. Okay, I may, I'll try to get to a few of them tomorrow evening maybe, but uh, we may end up skipping a day there. I'll, I'll try to get to some of them, but we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. Adios, guys. Bye-bye.